Hello and welcome to Broadening Your Horizons. Uh, today I'm going to talk about perception and awareness. Um, we have our own perception of a world, our own perception of our own lives, but how that relates to reality and uh, the way other people interact with ourselves and the world uh, can be two different things. Because even me talking now is my own perception and if somebody talked about perception it would be their own perception. And if someone was going to talk about me it could probably be very different to what I perceive I am but what I am may not truly be who I am it's just a perception and awareness and understanding the principles of how we interact with the world around us um, kind of holds true to our reality uh, perception in the dictionary if I just uh, say this, it's uh, the act of facility of perceiving and or apprehending by means of the senses or of the mind um, now the mind is meant to be this uh, thing that exceeds brain uh, we often think of cognitive science of being this thing that um, the brain and the mind are one and the same thing but mind extends far beyond consciousness itself uh, I perceive consciousness is an awareness and, and this consciousness that we perceive in our own reality here now um, is merely our perception and uh, I think consciousness is nature, uh, it is everything, everything is consciousness, matter has consciousness, um, however mind is uh, this kind of vessel or instrument we use to interact with consciousness, it, it is entirely separate from consciousness itself um, and psychology kind of views perception as the act of awareness um, the sensory perception using our five senses um, but we know quite well that our five senses are a an act of or a way we can um, interact with our physical world around us and we are limited with five senses through our body um, but our mind and our body are, are two things and two separate things so to think that our body is our mind and our mind is our body and consciousness is our body uh, are to totally different different things uh, now if you type consciousness in the dictionary you have or dictionary says it's uh, the awareness or to be aware of one's own existence sensations, thoughts, surroundings and but it also says having mental faculties fully active so this kind of goes on forth to um, drugs and uh, kind of things we consume um, and the interaction with mind itself um, to be aware and to have 
full, um, fully active sensory perceptions is quite important with our interactions with daily lives and something that I really want to um, touch upon is that the things that we consume, alcohol and cigarettes and coffee and sugar, uh, kind of these more mainstream destructive, and yet sometimes they can be helpful in a way that if we take these substances we can feel a different type of perception. Um, but we are not, when we take these or overdose in these substances, uh, shall I say, uh, we we don't have our mental faculties, therefore we are not conscious. We are operating upon a very unconscious or subconscious level uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so, when we look at media, and media around us, I see media as a um, changing our mental faculties about us, changing our consciousness. Um, and when I mean media, I mean you know the television, newspapers, magazines, and every everything, uh, our films, our um, books, literature. Uh, fiction and non-fiction um, basically creative works of other people um, and how we interact with that uh, really changes our consciousness changes our mind in a negative and positive way depending on how you look at it depending on how you interact with the world and to be um, and I feel as though humanity has gone down a path down a road where we're not operating fully conscious we're not operating um, we're not having this connection with mind and with self and ego and having this right balance and I think life is a balance and everything in life should be nurtured and and uh, should grow consciously, and that is what the human experience is is meant to be. And the essence of our purpose here is isn't to kind of operate un or subconsciously. It's meant to be you're meant to be operating fully conscious the whole time. Um, however contradictory to that I think it's important for us to realise there are different perceptions of awareness um, <clears throat> and different ways of, of looking at the same thing um, for instance, you have the light spectrum uh, that we operate under, and you can, we can, with technology these days, look at the same object in different spectrums of light, different, um, and you can see the heat structure of, uh, say, a piece of fruit or um, a human, the aura of a human. And you can look at a human through different wave spectrums of, of light and um, the electromagnetic spectrum or frequencies. And I think the same thing can be applied to uh, perception and awareness and consciousness. Is that we can look at the same thing through different perspectives through different um, points of reference and we can get a different result but essentially they are the same thing 
um, it is still a piece of fruit. It is still uh, a human aura or a human being, and yet we are just viewing it in a different in a different way, in a different uh, aspect. And I, I feel media itself is a a way of interacting with essentially the same same thing, the same um, identity. And, and what I mean the same, I don't mean, uh, let's use a specific example of, of looking at uh, politics, a uh, few view politics and the ideologies of politics saying left wing right wing and uh, other different spectrums and I, I don't mean that essentially all the uh, ideologies and politics and are the same same thing I mean they are looking at different aspects of the same thing so uh, if you look at the electromagnetic spectrum or frequencies as um, consciousness itself, or the or and beyond that is the mind. So you have the electromagnetic spectrum that we can perceive, and then beyond that is the mind. So the ones that we can perceive and ones that we are accessing um, is consciousness, and beyond that is the mind, and the mind is is crucially interacting with us because without those there would be no reality and and so when we look at our um, politics and our social apparatus in life we kind of we're all looking at one aspect or two aspects but essentially everything is in life really um, diverse um, but it's diverse for a reason and that reason is um, consciousness is expressing itself in, in different forms and different um, ideologies and, 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 that, and, that, and that is why sometimes they are conflicting I mean if you um, try and merge together two spectrums of frequency uh, they tend to um, create kind of noise or uh, friction and and sometimes frequencies don't don't work together, and that's and that's why I see uh, kind of I, I suppose in, in some ways the the immigration um, in a lot of countries um, we we've created this culture uh, in various countries whether um, it's Western Eastern um, kind of cultures they, they are different cultures they've been they've grown up in different ideologies uh, or and, and different frequencies I mean literally different frequencies in, in the respect that they they've operated through centuries and centuries of um, of just perceiving one way of life and one philosophy of life and and um, and that interaction, I see uh, is is being degraded, is being um, through the use of media and and technology. Uh, technology plays a huge part in our lives now, and uh, it's it's kind of transforming our consciousness and our interaction with with everybody in society. And uh, if if we just um, if we just move on and and we're not aware of that and we just kind of run at technology and media in a way that we're not fully conscious we're not fully aware because we're you know taking all these substances and we're all um, being integrated to this kind of cohesive culture um, where the friction of, of different frequencies are coming together through these different cultures coming together and it creates more friction because these ideologies really they don't work together they don't um, or, or, or say at the moment we haven't found a way of working together um, just just like 
uh, a song needs a way of of balance for it to work for it to um sound nice and if you have uh classical music um mixing with uh kind of heavy metal it, it can work in one respect but it might not work if if you don't think about it consciously and you don't interact with with the frequencies and music and, and melodies and lyrics if you don't think about all these things and uh, depth uh, it can just turn up in the mess and and that that is what I feel perception and awareness is is that we need to interact with society in, in a in a way that we can um, understand and but at, well, at what level this this happens at is an individual level and the level that you interact with people around you and not with trying to um, interact with people who you don't want to be around and you don't feel as though they're going to listen to you because at the end of the day if somebody's not going to listen to you if you bang on their door and keep list, tr- trying to get them to listen to you uh, they're just going <clears> to <throat> move away and not actually take in anything of what you're saying or um, so and that they I'm saying they in a kind of a general term I mean if, if anybody's interacting with, with somebody who doesn't understand a, a particular aspect of your views and your perception of the reality that you're in then maybe that's uh, a sign that you don't need necessarily to make them understand to to uh, because because we all operate on an individual basis in respect for you know I don't I, I operate on a level that I believe I am right but I don't necessarily think I'm right all the time so a lot of the time I'm trying to find out if I'm right and yet somebody may operate on a level that they think they know that they're right and they're never seeking to know what right is or they're never seeking anything and I think that seeking is important in terms of perception and awareness is that consciousness is this this thing we operate in and and um, the interaction with all these aspects of us um, really do um, I've 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 lost my point there, but <laughs> um, I, I think essentially what I'm, what I'm trying to nail down is the if it, if there actually is a, a cure for humanity, I mean, meaning that or is there a way that these cultures and these ideologies can work together without being one ideology? So, not necessarily the answer is mix them all together into one bowl and, and making a cake with it, if you know what I mean, and, and seeing it rise. And um, all I mean is that can we can we just hold up the ingredients of, of society and, and humanity and just say, look, they work way they work together as as individuals and not um, we we don't need to integrate. We just we work, can work together without. Oh, I don't, we should integrate, but I mean, we don't need to mix it all together and and make sure there's there's this global culture um, in terms of um, the way we interact with other people. Um, so I think I think I'll leave it there and. 
and come up with a new subject next time to contemplate and look into. Thank you very much.